Hello and welcome to another video of Matoklasan. I created a series of videos for the assumptions of simple linear regression wherein we will talk about the linear relationship between two variables by showing it using scatter plot diagram. We would also identify significant outliers using uh, scatter plot and uh, box and whiskers or box plot. I will also use uh, Durbin Watson statistic here in uh, Excel so that we could identify uh, the independence of the observations. We'll also identify the graph or plot for the homoscedasticity of the data. And finally, um, checking the residuals for histogram and normal PP plot. So, um, if you'll notice, the first uh, two assumptions can be checked by observation because all we need to do is to identify the levels of measurement for the dependent and independent variable. So, as you could see here, uh, both of those measures or variables should be at a continuous level. So, here in our example, um, we, we have here the stories and heights of buildings. For the independent variable, we have the number of stories uh, of the probably top 10 highest buildings in Metro Manila. Say we have here um, a building with the 64 stories and it this is its uh, measure in meters. It's 256 meters. So um, if we are planning to analyze this using linear regression, Okay, we need to check first whether these two values or measures um, could be classified under uh, numerical data value and at continuous level. And obviously, uh, this is a discrete value, it's a numerical value and it's also under uh, in a ratio um, and it's continuous, right? So if you want uh, to know more about uh, the different kinds of data variables and their levels you could always check uh, my playlist uh, about this uh, variables you can check it in the description down below um, here in the second uh, column we have the height in meters okay this is also a continuous level of measurement so we don't have problem with the first two assumptions now um, we can say uh, the two uh, variables when plotted are linear or has a re linear relationship if the graph looks like this okay in this uh, graph in the first figure here we can see that uh, it seems like there's an increasing trend following a straight line here okay and uh, sometimes if the trend is descending um, it's also linear as long as it follows uh, an imaginary straight line here as you can see here in the figure now we can see that there's no relationship if of course the the, the plots are scattered after the analysis and uh, also if there's a pattern showing uh, if it's a curve it's not linear okay so it should follow a straight line so this is what we need to check in assumption number three okay and to do this in ms excel all you have to do is to use the insert menu Okay, and uh, select the variables that we would plot. Okay, so to plot this, uh, we may go to recommended uh, charts, go to all charts, and uh, look for the XY scatter uh, option. Okay, so if we're going to choose this one, uh, we'll have different options. And here I'm gonna select this one, the second option, wherein uh, the two variables are compared so select ok and we have the scatter plot now for the data set so uh, s you could uh, see it and observe it uh, you can see that there's a possible linear pattern and the trend is increasing it means that if the number of stories for a particular building is increasing there's a poly possibility that uh, the height of that uh, building in meters uh, is also high which is well uh, technically correct right because um, if the the height of uh, the building depends on the number of stories it sounds right okay that is why we could actually see uh, a linear pattern here 
but if we want to analyze it further you could uh, select this uh, thick cross here to include what we call trend line okay so trend line is the regression line after um, doing analysis uh, you just select linear let's change the color so that uh, we could identify it right away so as you can see here if the plots follow this uh, imaginary trend line then it's possible that uh, the two variables are related okay but of course if they're scattered um, there's a huge possibility that uh, the regression analysis that you're going to run um, uh, is not reliable in terms of its uh, interpretation of the two data all right we can also um, include the data labels so that you'll know the specific plots for each of these data so we have here for a number of stories say uh, say 30 30 plus or 31 if this is 31 then the height of that uh, building is 188 so that's the repre representation of each of these ordered pair okay in the table uh, we can also add the uh, axis titles here so that uh, you could change the title for this uh, axis and for this case this is the stories number of stories okay for the building and uh, for the axis title here we have height in meters right in meters and this is the dependent variable for this case so that's it that's the scatter plot for uh, the two variables